Hi, I'm Cheryl. Welcome to my channel, Homeward Studio. Today I'm going to show you how to make Santa Claus three different ways. Anyway, before we get into the video, first I want to tell you if you are a return subscriber, I really appreciate you from the bottom of my heart. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much. If you're not a subscriber and you're watching this video and you like it, consider subscribing. I have so much more to share with you in the upcoming months and it does help my channel grow. And also, if you like the content, give me a thumbs up, like my video, because that also helps me grow. With all that being said, we have three ideas and let's get into the first one. And this is a door hanger. And here's what you're gonna need. You're going to need a skin tone uh, color, whatever color you want, felt and red felt. And a mop head from the Dollar Tree, some stuffing, and some picks and greenery, all from the Dollar Tree and pit berries. This is a steering wheel cover. You can use anything for the fur of the hat. Um, some bells and a pen, a pencil, Sharpie. So this is just a plate from my cover. It's a medium plate because this is how big I want his face to be. And just grab your felt in whatever skin tone that you want and make a circle and put the other felt on top and then cut it out because you're gonna need two pieces. Now, the Sharpie is gonna be on top and we're gonna hot glue them together. And try to um, hot glue it as close to the edge as you can because we're really gonna need to um, have this as round as possible. So I'm right on the edge there. And don't glue it all the way around because we are going to turn it inside out and we are going to stuff it. Now this is a small like juice glass from my cupboard and I'm making his nose. Now when it's good and dry, because you don't want to uh, turn it inside out when the hot glue is not dry yet because it'll pull apart, just turn it inside out and kind of work with it, both the face and the nose, as best as you can to make it as round as possible. And we're going to stuff it kind of loosely, not super full, kind of like a big thick pancake, I guess. Maybe that's a little bit thicker than a pancake, but you know what I mean. And I'm just folding that in itself. I'm folding it down and in and then hot gluing it. Try to keep it again as round as possible because this is gonna be his nose. So now take the mop head and start from the top of the head and go all the way down. And I think I did about four inches past the bottom of the head. And that's how long his beard and his hair is going to be. And I think I cut 24 of these, 12 on each side, but I don't remember exactly. But there's a lot of mop head string here. So if you need more, you can always use more. Determine where the face is going to be. The face is going to be in the middle, going up and down. And we're going to take the mop head and we're going to glue it on the top and just keep gluing it all the way to the very end and overlapping that seam on the side. And we're gonna do the same thing to the other side. So the middle of it is going to be his face. 
And now I'm going to make the hat, and this is the red felt from the Dollar Tree, the felt in the roll. Um, I would probably not use a Dollar Tree felt for this. I had a really hard time because it's super thin and it seemed to want to pull and it got so thin even with the hot glue it almost like melted into itself I mean in the end it turned out fine um, but I think a thicker piece would have been perfect so anyway same thing cut out two pieces and glue them together and then now we're going to make a circle in the middle of the hat because that is going to be a hole and the best thing to do here and I'm trying to figure out what to do how to make how to cut that circle out you just fold the hat in half by the circle there and then you can make a cut mark in there and I just couldn't figure that out I don't know now that I'm watching the video I'm like oh yeah that would have been easier but instead I took a kitchen knife I use a lot of my kitchen stuff here <laughs> if you haven't noticed my plates my cups my knives anyway I just pointed to that piece that was pulling apart because it's so thin. Um, this is how I'm going to fix it. I'm going to glue this all around the edge there so you can't really see it. And it's also probably a better idea to stuff the hat very loosely. Um, before you glue the circle in the middle or actually before you even cut the circle out because you can pull the the stuffing out or push it in and glue around it that was kind of hard to get that stuffing in there but I used a long pencil to do it so now we're going to um, put the hat on him and determine where the nose is going to be kind of in the middle but not up too high not down too low because we're going to put eyes on him and just go ahead and glue that hat down and the end doesn't matter because we're going to cover it up so it doesn't have to be straight now we're going to take some more of that mop head and we're going to glue it underneath his nose so when you glue the nose on only glue the top and the sides and then make sure that it's all even with the side pieces too and that's what he looks like and now we're going to take those strings there's four of them and we're going to pull them all apart and that's what it looks like it takes a while but not too too long and that is that steering wheel cover from the Dollar Tree. I had it in my stash and I thought I'd use it. Um, it comes in the automotive department. And if they don't have white, you can buy a stocking cap and use that. You can use anything for the fur. You could probably even use like thick, chunky yarn. That might be kind of cool too. Or the stocking cap and then just cut, you know, the, uh, um, the fur off. Or you can use a scarf too from the Dollar Tree. They have those white scarves. And then I just hot glued that around. You can see there's a rubber band in that steering wheel cover. And so I was just pulling it out. And now we're going to take a bell and we're going to hot glue it onto the tip of his hat. And then I'm kind of gluing, not all of it, but some of the mop head string down. And now for his eyes. These are the beads from the Dollar Tree. These are the black ones. And just glue them above his nose, wherever you like. And make sure the hole in the bead is pointing sideways. So you're not looking, when, when you're looking at the Santa, you don't see the hole because it's sideways.
And now I took two of the mop head strings, little teeny ones, probably about an inch long, and I twisted them together and I'm hot gluing them on for his eyebrows. And then that's what he looks like so far. And now we are going to embellish the hat. So those are pit berries from the Dollar Tree. And I'm just going to kind of twist it up and down and hot glue it. Make sure that it's glued, or excuse me, not glued, that yeah, it's glued, but it's dry. Turn around and do the same thing to the back. And then these are from the Dollar Tree. Comes in a pack of I don't know how many, a ton of them. And I'm just cutting little teeny pieces off and gluing them to the Pitberry garland. And then of course I'm cutting the sides too, so they're not so thick, not so furry. And then now we're going to put some more of these on his hat. And you can decorate this any way you want. You can put... Um, the little snowflakes, they have the vase filler balls, you can put that, you can put a little ornament, um, stickers, whatever you have. This is just things that I had, little bits and pieces here, and I'm just pulling pieces apart and gluing them on. And that's what he looks like. And this one I bought about 15 years ago from the store and this is how I got my idea I wanted to replicate it so there you go and this is the second idea I have I saw him at Marshall's and it's a bearded or a feathered beard so again you're gonna need something for the face you're gonna need feathers I got those from Amazon you're gonna need white felt a stocking cap from the Dollar Tree, any one. It doesn't have to be the red one. That holographic gold glitter is cool. I did not use the ornament. Beads for his eyes, popsicle sticks to reinforce, and a piece of cardboard. And the cardboard is however long you want your Santa to be. That's how long your cardboard should be. So now I'm drawing his beard and the top of his head. And then I'm cutting it out. So kind of like a triangle at the bottom, a long triangle, and then the circle at the top, a half circle. And then we are going to reinforce it. Whether I have a like a crease in mind, so it was really flimsy, but you're still going to want to reinforce it. And if you wanted to cover it up, you could just take like a felt, like a dark brown felt or something and cover it up so you can't see through it. So now we're going to take the white felt and determine how long you want that beard to be. And we're going to glue the white felt onto the cardboard. And this is so the feathers have something to adhere to and you can't see the color of the cardboard below. And so now we're going to take whatever skin tone color you like for his face. I'm using this off-white felt I'm going to do the same exact thing that I did earlier on the previous um, idea. So just make a circle, put two pieces together, cut it out, and we're going to hot glue it, turn it inside out, stuff it. Now we're going to put the hat on the cardboard and we're going to put the face underneath the hat and that does not have to be glued at the top or it doesn't have to be perfect I did glue it and now I'm bunching it up in the back you could cut it if you wanted to but uh, purposes for this video I didn't I just bunched it up and glued it down nice and tight and then go ahead and glue the face down. And now 
it's time for the feathers, which again are from Amazon. Um, I think it was like $10 for a bag of like 400 or something like that. I didn't even put a dent in this bag. There's just tons of them. And there's like small ones and bigger ones. And I started with small ones and I just put them the pointy part of the feather up. So it's pointing up toward his hat. And I just did one row of that all across the bottom of the face. And this takes quite a while. So I don't know, get a cup of coffee, put on some music, relax, watch your TV program and just have fun and just relax and enjoy doing this. And now what I'm doing is taking the second layer and I put it underneath the first layer. So this is actually sitting on the board and you put it up as close as you can. And then you just keep doing that. Put the, the third layer underneath the second one and so forth and so on. And of course, at the end, you're going to want to make it pointy. So one long feather at the end and then kind of, you know, taper it up and then uh, go ahead and put some on the side because you're going to want to cover all of that cardboard up there. So it's kind of like his beard, his mustache, um, and maybe sideburns or part of his hair. And then when you're all done doing that, I trimmed the pointy part of the feathers off. The one, the first row that we did on his face, I just took uh, scissors and I just cut just the tip of that off so you can't see it. And this nose is out of screen. I apologize. I thought I was filming it. Um, in the next project, I will show you how to do it. It is, you can see it in the next project, but I just took a knee high and I cut it in half and then you cut off the reinforced toe end or the top piece. So you just use half of it, tie the one end off, put cotton balls, polyfill, whatever you use, roll it into a ball, pop it in there, tie it off on the other end. You can kind of see it a little bit here and then tie those two long pieces together. And you're gonna kinda have to play with that nose a little bit to get it the right shape that you want it to be. And then just go ahead and hot glue it. And now these are beads for the eyes and go ahead and place the hole sideways so you don't see it on the top. And so far, that's what it looks like. This is that holographic gold glitter, which I believe I got at Walmart, and it's really pretty. And I forgot to tell you earlier, I'm sorry, Mod Podge. This is how we're going to get the glitter to stick. So I just put it wherever I wanted some gold on his beard. Not everywhere, just a little bit here and there on the ends, definitely. In the middle, sporadically. And then now we just sprinkle this everywhere the Mod Pod, excuse me, the Mod Podge is. And then at the end, I press it down with my hands. Yeah, it's very messy. But that's the way I got it to stay. So, and I did not embellish his hat, and I I think it's missing some some little extra design. But this is what it looks like. It is really a cool piece. I saw it at Marshalls, and it was like twenty bucks. But I made it, so and you can too. So this is what he looks like, and this is the next Santa Claus, and he has glasses, and we're going to make his beard out of a duster. So this is what you need. Any type of sign. You could actually use cardboard too, but I have a ton of these left over and some polyfill or stuffing. Any kind of material that's from Walmart, but the Dollar Tree has material too, or if you have scrap material, that's fine. A knee high for the nose, a pom-pom for the hat. These are beads. I'm telling you to use the white ones here, but in paint them blue, we're not gonna do that because he looks possessed with blue eyes. Thought it would look cool, it does not pink for the rosy cheeks and whatever skin tone that you want and I used a glass don't use a glass but I used an acrylic paint and it's called soft suede in deco art and beachcomber beige 
and you're going to need some embellishments for the hat, whatever you want, picks, pine cones, uh, vase filler, and then two packages of these dusters. So first we're going to take the board and we're going to take the material and fold it into a triangle and determine how big you want his face, how, you know, the width is there obviously, but the length. And the way that we determine that is we put the duster down and the bottom of the duster, you pull the dusters in half, by the way, I thought I showed you this and I might in a minute. You put the duster down, the end of the duster comes to the end of the board, and then I just drew a little line there. So that's where that is gonna start and the little line for the top of his or the bottom of his hat that's where that's going to start so the middle of that is going to be the face so i just took these two colors and i mixed them together so you can make it lighter you can make it darker i probably just would not use a gloss paint like i did here but it worked out fine because i mixed it with a non-gloss and you can make it white you could probably even paint it green and maybe do a Grinch that's an idea I didn't think about that that might be something for next year so you're just gonna want to paint the sides and then here's where I show you how I saw somebody do this and you put the two beads in here the two white ones and it just didn't work real well for me and it's probably because the paint didn't dry fast enough and the beads had like a shiny coat of paint on them. So there, that's how you pull them apart. I'm doing this fast because it's on a twice um, times two speed, but be careful because they're, they're kind of fragile. So you just want to very slowly pull them apart. So now I'm going to butcher this hat all up. Um, cut off the end and I end up cutting more off. So basically what you want to do is just ignore all this stuff I'm telling you about the hat. Just cut a big old triangle and you'll see why in a second. This is now in the screen. Yay. So there's that half piece of nylon with the toe cut off. Or you can use the other end. Just cut off the thick band at the top. If you have any strings like that red one was in that polyfill there um, pull it out because you'll see it through the nylon and this is the nose so we tie off one end we open up the stocking and we pop that in there and then you tie off the other end and kind of make it kind of tight not super tight but not loose either and then we're going to take those two pieces and we're going to knot it double knotted actually and while you're doing this you're going to kind of want to play with the nose to get it the shape that you want it to be and you can make this bigger or smaller it's totally up to you you could use an ornament for the nose you could use a large bead anything that's round will do and I make a lot of noses like this for my gnomes so now that's dry and we're going to turn around and I'm thinking to myself, mm, that's a lot of extra material. I don't need all this. And I could use that for something else, I'm sure. So I cut off the end and then I'm like, yo, that's wasted on the inside. So I cut that off too. Kind of a lot of extra steps unnecessarily, but that's okay. And now just go ahead and hot glue that down. Not super tight, a little loose because we're going to stuff the front of his hat. And there's that pillow stuffing. And I'm just putting just a little bit down there just to give it some depth. And then on the sides, I'm putting it on the corners so we don't see those sharp uh, corners through his hat. So it just looks like it kind of tapers up and not is squared off. And then I'm just pulling that in. If you don't want to see that, you can put a big piece of like black felt behind there, the whole length of that. Or you can glue some um, extra um, material on there. This is the scarf 
from the Dollar Tree, the Infinity Scarf, and I left this in to show you just how messy it is when you cut it. It is messy. These things fly everywhere. And if you're wearing a black shirt or a dark colored shirt, like I have a dark blue one on here, it's going to stick on that. It's a mess. <laughs> but it's it's kind of cool for a buck 25. Anyway, just go ahead and glue that on. I did not glue it in half because I didn't want more fuzzies everywhere. I'm just cleaning off all that fuzz on the end of my glue gun so it doesn't burn on. And then go ahead and clamp it down so it stays and then I glue the front of it. And now for the beard. So you're going to want to start in the middle and then glue on the side pieces and that kind of laps over a little bit on both sides and that hole in the middle there you're not really going to see it. We're going to take care of that in a second. So you can just kind of fold that in on itself. So the other piece, the fourth piece, we're going to cut it in half. And these are going to be kind of like, you know, the, his hair, sideburns, hair, the whole thing. And now we're going to take the other piece and we're going to cut that in half. And that is going to be the mustache. And you can point it up or down, whichever you prefer. And then we're going to pop his nose in there. Right on top of that fur. And the pom-pom for the hat. And I don't know why I'm decorating this before I put the eyes on. Oh, that's because the paint. I think the paint did not dry. I was having a hard time with that. Um, and this is a pick from the Dollar Tree, the holly and the berries here. Nothing special about it, nothing sparkly. But we're going to take care of that in a second. And these are just little pieces from different picks. And there's pine cone and some greenery in there. And this is white chalk paint. So now you don't have to do this. This is optional, but I'm just kind of lightly touching the pine cone, the berries and the leaves to make it look like it's kind of frosty, snowy. And I didn't show you this earlier. I'm sorry. And the supplies, um, and this is Mod Podge and we are going to just paint that on because we're going to put the Dollar Tree snow. We're going to sprinkle a little bit on that just to make it look a little snowy, a little frosty. And now this is optional and this is additional thing that I came to the last minute. Um, I'm going to make glasses for him. He looked like he needed something and his eyes were blue and he really looked possessed. So I glued or I colored them in with a Sharpie after they finally dried. So take that bottle and you take the floral wire, they're both from the Dollar Tree, and you wrap it around four times. Then you pull it apart, and you have two circles like that. And then I put the floral wire through the top of the glasses two times. And be careful because it's really bendy. And you're going to have to kind of play with them a little bit to make them as round as you can. And I bent the little piece in the middle up like glasses. And then I put this, um, the sides kind of in his fur and then I glued it. And this is what he looks like. And you can't see the glasses on here. I'm so sorry. Anyway, that's it for now. I'm going to post again in a couple more days. My last video of the holiday season. 
Thank you very much. God bless. Have a wonderful Christmas and happy holiday season. Bye.